we were about to go on tour in Australia, and the day before, you said, I need clothes, and <laughs> I need outfits for the tour. And we just went to three thrift stores in two hours, and you outfitted your entire tour. So I thought you could explain to me, how do you do it? When you walk into a store, what are you looking for, and how do you approach the store? Hi, Mom. Hi, love. Hi, guys. What's going on? Um, gosh, I mean, I don't know, it's funny. I, I never have ever been interested in shopping at a regular store. It's really like not something that I, I don't even really know how to do it. I feel like I go in and I'm like, this is, I don't like this. And what's nice about thrifting is that, you know, you walk in and it's just like hundreds and hundreds of just whatever. And, you know, it's this giant warehouse and it's like, just like kind of everything under the sun that you can imagine and there's the thing is like I know what you're saying you walk in and it's like looks like what how could you find anything cute in here um, I don't know I really don't know like how what goes through my mind but um, I don't know when I was younger just like rifling through them and I just I, I kind of do it based off of just like initial gut reaction I don't overthink at all I like I literally like I'm looking through it like this like I'm going very very fast and if something just like oh I like that I pull it or I you know don't and um, yeah, it's funny, like, you know, I get, like, given clothes and, you know, brands give me clothes and stuff. And, like, I don't know, sometimes people post, like, outfits that I've worn and they're like, really, he's wearing this brand and it's this much money. And, like, I'm like, ew. Like, it's like, it's just crazy to me. Like, I don't shop like that. Like, I only thrift or do little vintage shops. And, um, I don't know, it's just, it's a lot more freeing and I really believe in re-wearing stuff. I've re-worn most of the clothes that I've worn ever. Um, I feel like I... I don't know, people are very weird and finicky about rewearing things, and I'll rewear shit forever. I, I will just wear the same thing over and over again. Everything I'm wearing right now, I've already worn, and I think it's very silly when people don't like that and feel... I, I understand, like, being insecure about it, but I just don't believe in that. I think that you should rewear your clothes, because you know why? They're cute, you know? You like them, that's why you bought them. You have a washing machine, you can wash them. They also get more comfortable the more you wear them. They do. They're usually not so comfortable. Yeah. I don't like new, I don't like new clothes. Do you think it helps that you tend to wear oversized clothes and therefore you don't have to try them on? You can sort of say, I think that'll fit. Yeah, probably. Just tighten it up or I'm going to belt it or something. Yeah, I've never, I don't, I don't try clothes on because <laughs> I don't need to. But I'll, I, I mean, for me, yeah, I, I choose the biggest clothes in the store. It doesn't, like, I don't know. I found a pair of pants one time. They were like <laughs> that wide. And somebody was like, what are you doing? You can't buy that. And I was like, why? I have a belt. <laughs> when we first would go thrift shopping, you would come to me and be like, Mom, aren't these cool? And I would look like something my own mother wore in the 70s. She's and um, <laughs> a painter. <laughs> um, or like one of my Groundlings costumes. Um, are you looking for a color palette? I'm trying to learn. I really am. Because sometimes I'll find something I think you'll like it. And I'll walk up to you and you'll be like, oh, no. Horrible. Um... I, I gravitate towards like shirts. I usually go to shirts first and I just go through them and it depends on like the material and if it's soft and if it's nice and if it feels worn, I like that. Um, and if it's light and then it's like all about like what's on it. Like if it's like a random, I don't know, I found this little thrift shop in Japan one time and there was all these shirts with like total gibberish English on them and it was amazing. Oh my God, it was so cool. And there was these shirts that said like, like I found a shirt that said, this wasn't even gibberish, it was just a crazy shirt and it said, uh, I make, no wait, I have the dick so I make the rules. I was like, that's mine. I'm buying that. Uh, so you look for graphics. I, I look same. for what's, whatever sticks out to me, mom. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. This isn't that helpful, though. Sorry. <laughs> it's just, I don't know. You, you can't, here's what I would say is that like, you, you're looking for what appeals to you. Like what I find that you do is you come to me and you're like, Billy, does this look good? Which is very dear and very sweet that you care what I think, but it should be what you like. And, you know, if I was trying to make everybody else happy, I wouldn't wear the things that I wear, would I? Would I? You know? So, I feel like, I don't know, whatever sticks out to you, like, it's also, like, depending on the day. Like, if you want to, if you're feeling girly and you want to go get some little cute, you know, dress or lacy shirt or something, um, I don't know, that's, what, that's what's cool to me. That's what's nice about thrifting and vintage shopping is that the thing with, like, stores that are, like, making new stuff is it's, like, they're making it to be specifically for this kind of style, right? You, this is the trendy thing, and so I'm gonna put this in front of you, and you're gonna be like, oh, that's trendy, I'm gonna wear that, which is totally fine. But what I like about the freedom of thrifting is that nobody's telling you, here's the section that's the girly, and here's the section that's like boyish, and here's the section that is fancy, and here's the section that's casual, it's just all there. And so you, it's up to you to like, 
be let to, I don't know, decide whatever you want to decide. I don't know, I, I get really bothered when things are forced upon me, and I like the freedom of, of just being inspired because I'm naturally inspired. I think sometimes you get like, caught up in the, the world of, what, what are people going to think, or is this, is this cool to people? Is this going to look cool? And would so-and-so like this? And then at a certain point, at least for me, I've definitely hit a wall of like, oh, actually, I don't even like this. I don't, I don't even like this, so I'm, you know, what's the point of that? You want to do and be and wear the things that make you feel good about who you are and feel like, I don't know, work for you. I don't know. That's nice. I just woke up, you guys. <laughs> um, I would also say that the clothes that you do have, you know, after you wear them a lot and then, or you're done with them, we, we pass them on always to friends yeah. and, um, friends donate and we tend to donate by the way to specific places where um, sometimes to a thrift store but even more often really to a place where we know the clothes will sort of be directly worn where that organization maybe isn't fully a thrift store but they need clothes and so for the the people participate so we just make sure all the clothes that we have go to someone and I think clothes swaps are super important we always did clothes swaps and you know hand-me-downs and passing your your friend what you love you always look amazing. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you, Billy. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Thank you for having us. <laughs>